Joining us now to discuss this, Louisiana Congressman and House Republican Whip, my friend Steve Scalise. Uh, Steve Scalise, this one came out of left field, I guess, because it didn't come from Ways and Means. It came from the Energy Committee. Um, did you know it was coming? And um, what do you make of it? Well, Larry, it's exactly what you described. It's a new tax proposed uh, in this big, massive three and a half trillion dollar spending bill on, uh, among other things, natural gas, meaning anybody that uses natural gas for their household electricity, their costs will go up if President Biden and Speaker Pelosi get their way. I pointed this out yesterday. We we were in committee till 1.30 in the morning. I had an amendment to actually take this out. So did Catherine McMorris Rogers. And on a party line vote, the Democrats voted it down because they want to tax natural gas. We pointed out how this will break President Biden's pledge uh, that he won't raise taxes on anybody making under $400,000. In fact, this will hit lower income people the hardest because your electricity bills will go up. Hospital bills uh, will go up because if you think about it, every hospital, most of them are running on natural gas. That means their electricity rates will go up and they're going to pass that on, which means we're going to see higher health care costs, which breaks yet another President Biden promise that would be broken by this. It's about a $66 billion new tax just on the uh, natural gas, not to mention what they're trying to do on corporate tax increases on stepped up basis, retroactive capital gains. There's no end in sight to their spending and their taxing appetite, Larry. Um, this tax is particularly pernicious because if I have this right, Steve Scalise, um, it's an increase of 12% in the electricity costs for average families, right off the top, 12%. But also, correct me if I'm wrong, there's a 5% plus up above the inflation rate every year. So this tax gets progressively bigger as inflation rolls on. Whether inflation is high or low, this tax has to be five percentage points above it. I don't know of any other tax like that. Oh, and, and look, they're not done, Larry, because uh, as you've pointed out on this show many times, inflation's already out of control because of President Biden's spending uh, with Speaker Pelosi here. You know, all of the trillions of dollars they've already spent is having a dramatic increase on what people pay at the grocery store at the pump. This is more spending that adds even more inflation, plus they're doing this tax on natural gas. And oh, by the way, the 12.5% increase in natural gas utility rates is just a low estimate. That doesn't even count what happens when they raise corporate rates. Because as we saw just a few years ago, when you and I worked with President Trump to cut taxes, every electricity company uh, in America that's regulated lowered electricity rates right. because we lowered their corporate rates. So families actually got to see a benefit in their pocketbook. Well, guess what that means? That means prices go back up. In, in New Orleans alone, I think it was about a $100 million rate reduction that families saw. That goes away if they get their way on the tax increases, let alone what they're doing on this new tax on natural gas. Families, especially lower income, are going to get kicked in the gut by this tax increase. And again, it breaks President Biden's pledge that he wouldn't raise taxes on families making less than 400000 uh, I don't know if he cares about that or not, or if he thinks he just could trick people and, and kind of sneak this through because it was 1.30 in the morning that we went until last night. But we're talking about this because families ought to know what he's trying to do to them. Well, you know, besides all that, I mean, you're right. The corporate tax hike is going to have a huge effect on utilities, which will pass the costs along. So that's a second hit. But besides that, I mean, the worst of it is hit at small businesses, what I call the heartbeat of America. So right. they are losing their 20% deduction. We had Senator Ron Johnson on earlier. Uh, they're going to have to pay a higher individual rate. They have to pay an excise or a surtax on su uh, successful businesses. And they're our biggest employers. And in fact, a lot of small businesses are going to get hit again because they're going to pay the C Corp rate, which goes up to 26.5% in the House bill, and which I might add is higher than China's. So this is a kind of a tax debacle, Steve Scalise. Yeah, and think about just how mad this is. They're doing it all in the name of global warming, Larry. Guess who they exempt from these taxes? China. China doesn't have to pay these taxes. So that means more of American jobs go to China. And guess who emits more carbon to make the same stuff? If you make steel, you make it in America versus China. They emit five times more carbon to make it in China. And yet, as you point out, uh, under their package of tax hikes and spending, uh, that we would have a higher corporate rate of taxes in America than the Chinese Communist Party. That means more jobs would go to China. China would have a competitive edge. 
Russia gets, President Biden's already given Russia a gift on energy. He was begging OPEC and Russia to produce more oil. So if they hated fossil fuels, why was President Biden just begging OPEC and Russia to produce more? Let's make more in America. We actually make it cleaner. We make it less expensive. It helps our economy and it lowers the cost of making things and reduces carbon emissions. We should be making more stuff here. China could not have written a better bill uh, than this crazy, uh, that, I call it the Build Back China bill, yeah. because that's what it's going to do. It's not about infrastructure. It's about raising taxes, uh, raising the cost of doing business in America and running jobs off to China where they emit more carbon. It's crazy. Uh, do you think Mr. Biden knows we produce oil and natural gas? Maybe nobody told him. You know, OPEC does, but we that's kind of a joke. But, you know, I don't know yeah. what he knows anymore. Let me ask you one more thing, though. On this uh, global warming, Green New Deal stuff, Steve Scalise, you're talking about China. You know, the battery-driven automobile craze has to be done in China. They have the rare earths and the resources and the minerals and the nickel and the lithium. We don't have it. The greenies won't let us even open up mines. We do have it, but they won't let us mine for it. So we're playing in the Chinese hands right there. That's a subheading for this crazy reconciliation bill. Yeah, China, they talk about everything being green and renewable. I'm all for all of the above, by the way, renewables, fossil fuels. Uh, but let's be honest. I mean, where are you going to plug your, your electric car into? You don't plug it into a tree. You have to plug it into a power outlet that usually comes from fossil fuels, uh, whether it's natural gas, coal, maybe nuclear. They're against all of those things. So where do you think the energy is going to come from? It's going to come from China, from Russia, from OPEC. Mm. And then our country is even more dependent on those nations, many of whom don't like us. And they take those billions of dollars and use it against us. Uh, this makes absolutely no sense. Uh, but it's, it's just like a cult religion to them uh, that they want to wreck our economy, raise taxes, you know, they talk about taxing the rich at their swanky parties where they're, you know, wearing fancy cocktail gowns. You know, how about you work, you look out for American workers, especially low income families who are going to get the bulk of this. It's going to be low income families that get clobbered by these taxes. All right. Now, dude, you're there. Last, last question, sir. Last time you were on, you said we had a better chance of beating reconciliation in the House. And I've repeated that a hundred times. In fact, you heard me say it, and I credited you at Kevin McCarthy's outing out in Wyoming. Um, what you thinking now about beating reconciliation? I mean, I want to save America, and I think we need to beat reconciliation. What do the odds look like to you, Mr. Scalise? Well, we still have a chance, and there are some Democrats that are feeling the heat, Larry. We've got to keep the pressure on and let people know that they're trying to raise taxes on low-income families. It's not just the rich. In fact, it's the lower income that are going to get socked the hardest by these tax hikes, not to mention the spending that goes with inflation that they're going to trigger. All right. Chief Whip, House Republican leader, Steve Scalise, we thank you for your time, sir. We appreciate it very much. Hope to see you soon.